This is the most convincing video that God exists that I've ever seen. Why God exists. Since the beginning of time, mankind has always asked questions about our reality. Why are we here? What is our purpose in life? And why is there something rather than nothing? But the most asked question of all is, does God exist? When we look at our universe, we have no choice but to ask why. Why does the universe exist? Could it have been by chance? Could the universe have just happened without an explanation and simply could have been a coincidence, nothing more? Let me put it into perspective for you. The probability of the universe being born by chance is so infinitesimally small that it's equivalent to throwing a single atom anywhere in the entire universe at random and pointing it out a million times in a row. Just think about those odds. The percentage is so small that it's literally regarded as zero, a zero percent chance. That is what it truly is. Because how can something come from nothing? There must be an explanation, right? Every single thing in the universe from people, animals, and even non-living things are contingent, or more simply, they depend on another existence that explains their own. Contingent basically means subject to change or could have been another way, but let's make this easier for you to understand. Here's the premise. For anything that begins to exist, it's dependent on another existence that caused it to exist. For example, people depend on water to exist because if water did not exist, people wouldn't exist. Water depends on water molecules or simply H2O, two hydrogens and one oxygen. If oxygen and hydrogen did not exist, there would be no water. Water molecules depend on atoms to exist and so on and so forth for even planets and stars that depend on their own compounded makeup. And this is absurd for everything in the universe. Just sit and think for a second. Is there anything that begins to exist that depends on nothing? Moving all the way out, we can even conclude the universe itself had a beginning. But how do we know? Why can't the universe just be eternal? Think of it like this. If the universe is eternal, we would have an infinite past behind us, meaning there's an infinite series of events that took place before the present. But that makes no sense, because we would never reach the present from an infinite past. An example of what I mean would be numbers. If there were an infinite amount of numbers between 0 and 1, would you ever reach 1? No. no, because infinity entails that there is no beginning and no end. The same logic applies here. If there were an infinite amount of events between the past and the present, would we ever reach the present? No. So if the universe began to exist, and we know that all things that begin to exist have a cause, what caused the universe to exist? The thing that caused the universe to exist must be independent and not contingent on anything. Because if it was, it would just be another link in the chain of dependent things that needs another to explain it. And this can't go on forever because just like the numbers example of how we would never reach two, we would never reach existence. But we have reached existence, meaning there must have been a start. This reality is the start, the very first thing. It is the cause of the universe's existence and thus is outside of space and time, meaning it's eternal because it's not bounded by the flow of time, non-physical because it's not bounded by space, and is the cause of their existence. This reality is necessary and cannot fail to exist in any possible world because it's the start of dependent things, the only independent existence. Now here's where it gets crazy, and truly listen to these next words, because this is why I will never be an atheist. This independent, necessary reality that everything depends on to exist could have simply just been. It needs absolutely nothing to exist, and nothing caused it to exist. It could have simply just been by itself as the only thing in existence. But that leads me back to the first question. Why are we here? If this single reality needs absolutely nothing to exist and could have simply just been the only independent thing in existence, why is there dependency? Why do we exist? The answer, it made a decision. This independent reality made a decision to cause everything that exists and is the sustainer of all things, which means this reality is able to make decisions and is therefore intelligent and is a source of our intelligence and consciousness. And it's all powerful because it did not just bring a grain of sand into existence, it created everything. This reality goes by many names and you can call it whatever you want, but what it is that you're describing is God. 
That might be the best video I've actually ever seen. I love how he blends like the philosophical, kind of like the part that hits the intellect, and then like the spiritual side of, of God. We know that something can't come from nothing, therefore whatever created everything has to be outside of everything that we're in. One thing I wish he had added in here would have been the aspect of how everything seems to just work so beautifully. Rain falls from the sky, which creates the grass, which the animals eat, and then the food chain happens, and everything happens so beautifully run on its own as if. A computer doesn't fall out of the sky having been fully made with the software and the code already written, the UI of the websites are like, none of that happens on its own by accident. Designers, humans in this case, create these things and make it this one beautiful package of a laptop or a cell phone that you're watching this video on. In the same way, you take something as complex as our brain, as our retina, as our eyeballs, as our nose, as our throat, as our digestive system, of all the skin cells in your body, how does it all just work? It's just natural selection, bro. And you're like, okay, I'm not mad about that. Maybe that is how you explain it scientifically. But where does it come from? You look at a full grown adult with all these things that they've accomplished, all these experiences that they've had, they still had a conception at birth that was created from his parents. Whether or not those parents had any impact on the kid's life, the kid doesn't become a man or a woman until he is born. And the string of events that happened from the moment of creation to now, that doesn't happen by chance. That happens from a decision. In this case, God. And he said, let there be light. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, follow for more, share with a friend.